previously. Wait a minute. Magma's crazy. Magma's like a generic eight that actually does something on Master Duel Masochist. I'm going to lose my mind. They figured it out. They're more likely to win if the opponent just gets sick of sitting here. A win's a win. What is a win worth to you? What is a deck? A collection of cards that is an extension of the player? A tool used to win tournaments? A reflection of oneself? What gives a deck meaning? The individual cards? the number of victories, or what about the will to never give up? Does a deck inherently possess meaning, or do we as players assign meaning to the deck? Can we create meaning from nothing? What if we created a new Master Duel account, ignored the starter decks, and restricted the account to the minimum amount of Master Packs possible to create a legal, although not necessarily playable deck of 40 main deck cards and throw ourselves into ranked? If we somehow miraculously defeat an opponent, we can upgrade our deck with one additional Master Pack. Can we achieve something like this in Master Duel that only a masochist would try? I guess there's only one way to find out. This is Master Duel Masochist. Should have just went for it. That back row wasn't doing anything the whole game. Oh look, it's the starter deck card. some outs to this. We're just going to have to draw them, and that's probably not likely to happen. Oh, they just have, like, the whole shebang. All right. That is not going to do it. We had a few outs. We had a few. That was not one of them. Man, this is going to be a problem. Giving everyone Sword Soul is going to be a fucking problem. Oh, God. Well, this card's going to go hard. I also don't know how we, like, kill Eldritch. Draco Utopian Aura only does stuff on the field. See, joke's on them. They're going to think I'm a real opponent. I'm going for it. I don't care. Well, that's going to get negated, so that actually doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, we were never winning this. Oh my god. 
You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> what are they gonna do? We are not winning this. There, there, there's zero chance we win this. Yep. Our best shot at winning this is we summon Zoma and they don't read it. That is our best chance at winning this. Okay. That, you know, that actually helps. Or monster effect, huh? Uh, I'm gonna wait. Okay, we're under skill drain, so none of these actually do anything. Uh... Hmm. I don't think it really matters. Guess just take Camellia. I'm gonna fire this now just because I know that they have Golden Land. So what I can do... I can actually... Oh, the Armored Bee can't even do anything either. That kind of sucks. I think we just wall up. We can make, like, a Firewall exceed and crash, but then they can just bring it back. That's annoying. If we can get to Beargrum... Or Magic Cylinder... Oh, they have this, though. We have to bait that first. Beargrum can still clean up under Skill Drain. That's not bad. I'm trying to bait out this golden land forever. Okay. So now magic cylinder is a way for us to win this. So Bear Grimm will do it. Not, it won't win us, but it'll at least get us in a commanding position that we can take out Eldritch. If that's stuck, Armored B could have taken out an Eldritch. That's annoying. This just gets an out elixir. That's fine. Okay. Magic cylinder, bear grum. I think cylinder is the better of the two, honestly. Okay. We're not dead. We can do this in damage step. Yes, this is fine. Fine. I mean, they don't have anything. They'll just fire this now. I don't know what gets us out of it, but... Nah, it just gets negated.
please. Please. Oh! We might be in this shit. Holy shit, we might be in this. Does this have an effect? It's oh, it's negated though. Fuck. It's not like it matters. Oh, that ne Oh, okay, yeah, we're dead. Never mind. We're dead, we're dead. I'm like, oh cool, we can like Draco Utopian aura, but like skill drains up anyway, so it's not gonna matter. Damn. 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 That was close. We actually like almost pulled it off. Almost. It's the same fucking bot! Surely there are more than three people playing Master Duel. Surely. I can't believe this. Is this, is this the third time we've played this bot? This is three, right? I'm not crazy. This is three times we've played this bot. I can report them. The sad part is... <laughs> Am I really going to complain on the masochist account? <laughs> Would anyone really care? It's a free win. It's free cards. That's like the sick part about it. It like benefits people to not report them. <laughs> this is insane. All right. One... Two, we've played them twice, minimum. Three, we have played them three fucking times. One, two, three. That's insane. That's actually insane. For the record, for the record, for the record, one of them was in gold five, one of them was in gold four, and this one was in gold three. So if we keep playing, if we keep playing, maybe we'll meet them in gold two. I have to open a master pack. I, I I completely forgot. I have to open a master pack. Dragoonity card. Final light. This is a Valkyrie card. Ancient gear tank is an ancient gear card. Necro vulture is a raid raptor card. Sub terror card. Eh, Luna's like fine. At least it's generic. Dragon duo is kind of cool. Please. It's generic. We're probably never gonna summon this. I'm I'm grateful it thinks we're playing like Fire King Snake Eyes though. I, I appreciate the sentiment. All right, Legacy Pack. What do we got? Enraged Muka Muka and Talisman of Spell Sealing. Two of the worst cards imaginable. Bergram's a bit of a brick in this hand, but... Well, we probably weren't winning this game anyway, I'll be honest. I'm still debating if I auto-concede against the Diabell Star decks. Diabell Star for Diabell Star. I feel like it kind of depends on what deck they're playing. The fact they're activating this. All right, I'm out. We ain't beating that. Seems like a normal opponent. Oh! <gasps> we can summon magma. We have full combo. Dragon bite into horn needle. Oh shit, maybe that'll come up. Summon ogre to bit. Oh fuck, it's snake eyes again. They're playing Flame Bird. Like, they're obviously bought. <laughs> but I want to summon Magma! Fuck. Can't beat it.
Sam's not great. Made us go first, too, so we're about to get clobbered. Oh, we're so fucked. We haven't played against Labyrinth in a while, but it, this is another deck that we just, like, can... Oh, yep, we literally cannot out that. Lady Labyrinth is, like, literally an FTK against us. Oh, my God. Blue Eyes. Okay. Okay. This is... This is beatable. This is beatable. I haven't used this guy in a long time. Thank you for wasting a card. So I time breaker there because if they have like Return of the Dragon Lords or anything, now that just blanks it. I could have Parasomnia pillowed and like gotten a big token, but I think this is better. Now we could just be dead. Like that's very likely to be the case. Okay, got to deal with Whitestone. Just end phase summon Dragon Spirit. That would be the right thing. Oh, I guess Jet exists. All right, this is going to get annoying. All right, how do we want to do this? This is kind of annoying with the Jet Dragon. I actually think we keep the Jet Dragon in check. What do they have? Okay. Now what I think I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to get this Resonance Insect on the field. And then I'm going to pillow away this alternative. They must have another Max C or something. They did have another Max C. All right, that's fine. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. If we want to have a giant guy, that's just going to have to be the case. Set to pass. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. They didn't realize it either. I realized something very bad about that play, but I'm not going to jinx myself, so I'm not going to say it. I mean, shit, do I just go for it? I guess. Uh, I summoned Bear Grum. It's lethal, but they had possibly a response window. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it slow. It's probably not right. I'm glad I took it slow. I'm glad I took it slow. I would have gotten mega punished. That would have made the highlight reel. Okay. God, Time Breaker is so annoying. Love this card. So now I think the goal is just to fill up on monsters for Bear Grum, just so we can activate it like a million times. Um, if I summon Bear Grum, it's a 
two turn clock. What could I do? I could banish Resonance, Maneater Bug, Insect Knight. Keep these two. Resonance is going to send me another one. I'm in. So I said this, this, this. Uh, we don't need either of those. Okay. Lethal next turn if they don't have anything. That's a sick draw. We knew they had that blue eyes. So this is going to give us some insight into their hand. If they get double alternative... Oh. That's infinitely worse. That is infinitely worse. Oh, shit. Man, if only we had Vein. Fuck. All right. What are my outs? Oh, shit. I shouldn't have summoned this. Fuck, that's bad. Um, okay, so as bad as this is, I have to summon this in attack position. If I put it in defense, it double pierces and I'm almost dead. So if it has like any other way to a blue eyes, we're just like cooked. So I need Ice Dragon's Prison or Quaking Mirror Force or... That's a new one. Oh, I would have really been dead if I put that in defense. All right, I got draws. That is not it. Can't be targeted. Can't be targeted. Can't be targeted. I could go like Armored B, have the jet to 15. Beargram attacks over for 19. They still have 13, and then I die next turn anyway. It's annoying. I think I just have to keep summoning Beargrim and just hope that I can, like, survive. Yeah, I think that's the move. I'm going to keep this Armored B. That might be able to do something. I'm not dead? I can't banish from field. Oh my god. I'm not dead. Not dead. <laughs> I forgot that has an effect. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead. Never mind. <laughs> oh, man. That was close. That was close. 
This hand's insane. Oh my God. Okay. Man, do I lead Camellia or Insect? I think we lead Camellia. We're playing blind. They opted for us to go first. We'll go vein. We can actually protect the vein with cylinder. Horn needle might be better. But we'll see. For a second, I thought I was just going to get math meched into oblivion. All right. Well, we're going to fire this. I think I'm just gonna negate this just because I don't want this to get value. They took quite a while to fire that. They might just have a lot going on. Who could have foreseen this coming? Let's do it again. He had another one. This is only when it battles a monster. Okay. Uh, this is fine. We let that go. Why are they playing this? Oh, that's insane. Okay. Uh, so we can get a metric shit ton of damage here with the ogre with the solitary sword. It's going to put circular back in the hand, but like, I don't know if there's anything I can do about that, if I'm going to be honest. I kind of just want to get in with some things. if they play more than one super factorial i feel like they're playing a lot of like the weird shit though i think i'm just gonna get rid of this if they only play one of it i'd rather not deal with that if i could oh maybe i should have actually read the card instead of the graveyard effect imagine reading chat couldn't be me the one time I look and figure out like what the graveyard effect is, I don't even read the first part of the effect. Oh, well. Well, we're probably dead. On the plus side, at least this is still on the field. So I guess that's a, a decent thing. Oh, they had super factorial anyway. Okay, we're probably just dead then. Because that gave them their third, uh, their third math mech, right? Yep. Funny enough, if we went with the solitary sword, we would have just hit over. But then we just lose a super factorial anyway. If we survive, can we just like get to Bear Grum and just clean the whole board? That's assuming we survive, right? Oh, even if we destroy magma adds. Get like equation back or something. And plus this is going to trigger anyway. It's rough. Isn't this just unaffected by everything? Okay. Well, funny enough, we do have a Gamma Seal still. So I guess if we get lucky and draw that, we can actually out this with Solitary Sword. We just kill it in battle. We need something big enough to beat... Where is it? Induction? But then they just like flip this and just pop.
They're going to attack with Magma. They want to pop the back row. This is the only thing unaffected. I'm going to Cylinder this because it's just going to get popped by the Magma anyway. And we're just dead anyway. Because I forgot it does ba double battle damage. Oh, well. I'm like, I think I'm missing something here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next. Oh, uh, that's a lot of monsters. His hand isn't terrible. It's just a lot of monsters. Oh my God, it's actually Sushi. I saw the name was Sushi Flame and I thought there's no shot, but here we are. Can we beat Sushi? I don't know. This this might be too good for us. I'll be honest. I love how that has an animation. Out of all the things in this game to have an animation, that is one of them. <laughs> well, I thought we had a chance. <laughs> I mean, I guess. And we have an insect. Uh, this is such a problem. I just don't have anything big enough. Like, I can't even clear this. Even if I get D about on the field, like, it doesn't even matter. Can go, like, Ogre, Aether, Banish? That seems terrible. Man, it's just not gonna matter. This just goes to the back row. This can resummon it. Temple, summon Flame Burge. If I didn't have six monsters, I might be able to do something about this. They just resummon, they add. I'm just not even gonna waste my time, honestly. I think if there's like maybe some chance, there isn't. Okay, at least we have some monsters and spells and traps this time. Removal, removal, kind of removal. The best card ever printed. Against the deck that we can never beat. Already have long one. If they make Baron, we're probably dead. We could draw out of it potentially, but it's unlikely. There's maybe a world where we can like quaking to like set everything. And that buys us time to get to Bear Grum, maybe. I think that's a bit optimistic. I have to waste the pillow on it to do that. Oh, if that's blackout, we're just dead. Bird of Roses is interesting because we could go like attack crash. That gets us like two things for Beargrum and then we might be able to stick Beargrum. And I have to do it that way because if I don't do it this way, they can just pop it with Baron. Okay, this seems crazy, but I'm going to try this. That's hilarious.
Oh, it has to be opponents attacking monster. This card sucks. Oh my god. Well, we learned. Oh well. Wow, we are just we are fumbling today. I mean, we've already baited everything. I didn't think they were going to waste that, so okay. <laughs> All right, Bergram, take the lead. <laughs> if they didn't chi shao that, that was never going to work. That was all part of the plan. That was all part of the plan. That was clearly what I wanted them to do. And they have this anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Just make Boxia spin Bergram, and I'm dead. Or Yazi pop it. Well, no, you can't make Yazi. Yazi's a seven. Yep. And we have no board. Don't think we can draw out of this, so. We tried. Still can't beat Sword Soul. Still can't beat Sword Soul. You know, I'm kind of surprised for how long I've had Bird of Roses. I haven't tried fumbling with it like that before. I can't believe it has to be attacked to get the effect. That's so bad. All right. This is my speed. Okay. All right. I'm bringing this out because I want this to get killed by battle. Okay. More back row. Speaking of more back row. All right. Um, we're just getting in. Oh, shit. That's going to be a problem. Don't be Dragon Spirit of White. 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 Please, 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 please. That might be worse, actually. Okay, we have an answer to this. I'm not that worried. Start of the damage step. Okay. We're not going to have what happened last time happen again. We don't talk about that, chat. We don't talk about that. Oh, if they have ultimate creature, this is going to suck. I forgot this discard's for effect, not for cost. So that shouldn't resolve, because nothing got bounced. Oh, we're getting in. Um, do we make something? Do I just link this resonance off just so I can get to Bergram? I don't want it to get, like, banished or any, like, stupid bullshit like that. What am I, like, actually afraid of?
All right. If that, if if anything happened to that resonance, we just had no follow up. So I think it's just better to do this now in case there is something back here I need to be worried about. All right, only one way to find out. Oh, thank God. Okay. Gold two, ladies and gentlemen. Still the ways to go, but we're getting there. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoy. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout to shout 1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play Medolce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Phoenix the Immortal, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Little Fade Leaf, Draconic, Dylan Rare Hunter, JW11860, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Chrono the Branded Enjoyer, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Uncle Brian of Stardust, Power Rave, but without a stupidly long name that barely makes any sense and is annoying to read out loud, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT cancel by all community soon, cancel by all committee soon, cancel by all players soon, Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, Calvin Tempest, RIP Akira Toriyama, Daniel Howell, and life keeps using solemn judgment on my hopes and dreams. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time.